In this video, we're going to talk about the different measures of spread or measures of variability or dispersion or variation. So there are five basic measures of spread, variability, or dispersion or variation. And they are range, variance, standard deviation, coefficient of variation, and interquartile range. The first of them is the range. The range is the difference between the largest value and the smallest value. It is usually denoted by R and as its definition implies, R will be equal to the maximum value minus the minimum value. In our Excel table that we had a while ago, as you can see here, we have, we have the range given to us already. But if you want to double check, you can actually get this too. Because based on our definition, range will be equal to the maximum minus the minimum. And that would be 30 minus 3 and that would give us the range of 27. So that is correct. The range of our values is indeed 27. As easy as the range is to compute and to interpret, add such as earn from... $10 to $10,000 a week by sharpening sauce at home, take advantage of this aspect of the range. The vast majority of such entrepreneurs may well earn less than $20 per week. However, it takes only one unusually successful person for the range to be so impressive. If there is even one very extreme value, the range can be a large number that is misleading to the unwary. The range, as you can see, is affected by, of course, the largest and the smallest value because of its formula. That's why we have to be extra careful. In the adits given in this uh, example, we can compute for the range as follows. So the range here will be from 10,000 minus 10. And that will give us actually 9,990. So the range of your income would be $9,990. However, what if this person is just one person only? One person only. The range would be very big, but it would be very difficult to get to that value because of course, that's only one person that's affecting the entire data set. Usually, the range is partnered by the mode as describing data in terms of measures of central tendency and measures of variation. So if you're going to use the mode as the measure of central tendency for your data, it's better to partner it off with the range as its measure of variation. The next measure of variation is variance or sometimes pronounced as variance. The variance or the variance is the sum of the squared deviations of each of the sample values from the mean divided by sample size minus 1. Denoted by S squared, it may be computed using a table or it may also be computed using the formula that you see. Now, the variance or the variance has a unique feature because it is the sum of the squared deviations. So, let's illustrate this one. Say, for example, this data point is our mean. And these are the different data points. If we're going to get the distance from each of the data point to the mean, like what I'm doing right now, even that far, this one, and I'm going to add all of them, the sum would actually be zero. Because these distances are either positive distances or negative distances. And all in all, I will get a value of 0 because as it covers all, we will only get those distances when we add them will get 0. However, if we're going to square, if we're going to square these distances, then they will not add up to 0. That's why the variance will square them and so that we can get a value that would give us how far the values are from the mean. However, variance is in square units. What is the issue of having the variance in square units? Now, as you might have implied, since variance is talking about 
um, distance from the mean, that means the measure of central tendency to be partnered here is the mean. However, if we're going to compute for the value of the mean, we don't square anything. But variance, we have squared the numbers that we have added. So in that sense, we cannot use the two as a pair because this is just in units, while variance, which is S squared, is in square units. So we cannot use that one. Another, before I forget, as you can see, these values are used for sample. They are statistics or values from the sample. If we're going to use the mean and the variance or symbolize them rather in for populations, so let's mark that first. These are for the sample. But if we want to use the values from the population, then we will have population. The mean as mu. This is our mean and sigma squared, that symbol, sigma squared, as our variance. So we just have to be careful with the symbols because for mean and variance, they have different symbols for population and sample. So now the big question is, if we cannot pair the mean to the variance because variance is squared, then what do we do with now? What measure of variation should be paired with the mean? Let's look at that in the next video.